doing a little test. I'm trying to do a little test because I'm really nervous about doing a, a video like this because I don't. Gotta make other people strong though. cynical these days. <laughs> like everything I think is has some kind of meaning. Everything I think now has meaning. Everything I used to think a long time ago didn't have any meaning. I just I don't want to look at the camera. How you do it, man? Big people on YouTube. It, you know, it seems so hard to get in front of the camera and just speak. I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know if I'm going to cut the video right. And, you know, it's like, I don't know. I see some people's that stuff that just doesn't get cut at all, you know. And I, I never thought about doing a vlog. And I'm afraid about not being able to open up. And obviously I'm just scared for nothing because I'm talking away. You know, uh, I've had some drama in my life recently. It was really, really kind of nuts. So, I'm sure that my head is straight. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, okay. Um... I was saying before, oh yeah, I met someone kind of recently, it was a chick, you know, I, I had a daughter, and uh, you know, if you get to know me online, then you'll be like, why does this dumbass have a daughter, why is he even allowed to reproduce, well, you know, why are we having an overpopulation issue, I mean, <laughs> you know, you know, uh, an autistic person can have kids these days, and nobody really cares. And you know, the real problem with that is they're they're not even able to work a you know a McDonald's job. I mean, I I I I know some autistic people who just sit in a bed all day and stare at the wall. And uh, when people think you know hear me say you know high functioning autism, they you know they think that I'm you know. I'm just going to walk around the room and stare at the wall all day, you know, high functioning, you know, I'm just not sitting and doing nothing, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not you know, low functioning, not doing anything, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm able to walk around and, you know, and clean myself like a child, and, you know, I, I don't know what people think, I mean, I'll be telling people this, is, you know, I don't, I wouldn't want to show you my room right now, it, it looks like I'm 13, and, you know, my mommy's on vacation, and, uh, yeah, it's not, it's not fun looking, you know, and I, I do maintain it, but not as regular as I should, probably about as regular as a 13 year old would maintain their shit, so, you know, um, about as many times as it would take to, to ask a girl to come over and chill at the house, you know, that would be like, like, once or twice a year, you know, so, you know, even though it would never actually happen, so, yeah, um, you know, things have been good these days, you know, I got away from Louisiana, everything was really hectic down there, I had a lot of bad influences, people just wanted to take everything that I had and, you know, be like, yeah, I care about you, you know, but when I ain't got nothing, you know, They'll be like, yeah, you're my friend, but I'm kind of busy right now. You know, and that, you know, I could definitely say that people are more busy when I didn't have money. Than, you know, if I did have money, they would just be like, yeah, I'm busy, but I'll, 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 I'll you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be free in a second. You know, just, I guess the, the length of their busyness is uh, more perceptive, you know, whenever I have money than if I don't. So, I don't know. You know, what I'm supposed to say to that, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm not a fool, 
you know, I help people because I want to. I don't help people because I want something from them. You know, I'll turn around and ask for favors because I've helped someone, but, you know, you can't expect to just ask a stranger on the goddamn street to be like, hey, can you give me $5 so I can get some McDonald's? You know, if, if I've been like, hey, would you like for me to buy you McDonald's? You know, a friend of mine of six and a half years, you know, would it be okay for me to turn around a couple weeks later and be like, hey, dude, you, you know, could I get five dollars for from something to eat, you know, because I'm doing bad, you know, even, even no matter why I'm doing bad, because shit happens. I mean, I, you know, I had situations where that was a problem for people, and I, I just don't understand why it's a problem. You know, I don't, is, my, is my head messed up? Leave comments. I don't care. Just please tell me what to do. Um, this is probably going to be a stream of videos because I should have done this a long time ago. And uh, I, I got inspiration from somebody who is uh, feeling a bit depressed at the moment. I don't know on earth why. You I mean, he went to New York, did some cool stuff with some people, walked around in public with a camera. You know, and I've never done that. You know, I, I want to do that. And, you know, I, I could do other things that I've already done with people that I didn't really want to do to begin with. Like record music and make videos. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was a considerable look. That look there. I want to get a view of the eye. <laughs> yeah. I've simply run out of things to say at the moment. I mean, I could start talking about my pot any moment. Like, medical pot, yay! Peace to the world! It's just not put together right, though, you know? People are trying to, to make it all about them, and everybody wants the spotlight. And I don't want the spotlight, but I'm trying to do everything I can to make it more... Uh, uh, an accountable system for people using it. You know, the dispensary system that they had months ago was just totally awkward. And, you know, I don't understand how people could, you know, say that they were following the law and they're not, you know, and then, and then, and then expect to, to be taken to court and, 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 you know, expect that they can get out of it just because, you know, other people were doing similar things that they were doing. But, you know, they, they're, you know, when there's no law that predates a crime, and what I mean by that is when there's no law that's in place to say you can't do this specifically, if you fuck up and there's nothing written about it, they can just put it on something else. You know? Because there are laws that, that protect the, the medical pot patients, but they have to be accountable for their actions. And there have to be ordinances in place, state ordinances, to make people accountable on a person, on a personal level. Singular people being accountable. These dispensaries are groups of people, like corporations, that are not accountable for one another, you know. I would suggest that laws would have to be changed, and I've already taken steps to do that. And, you know, I'm very happy of all the stuff that's going on in Wall Street, because it's making my case a lot easier to support. <coughs> it really is. You know, I, I didn't even realize it until... I called about, you know, the next hearing for uh, Kent County, and I, uh, trying to, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to mumble under my breath, because I don't want everybody to know where I live, and I really don't, you know, I, I, you know, I may let it slip later, but, you know, there's only, like, six medical pot states, and I'm in the north, so, you know, figure it out, so, yeah, uh, um, trying to think about everything I wanted to talk about and whether or not I got into a 15 minute slot, I have no idea. You know, I usually sit on the phone for like, you know, hours and hours talking to my dad or, you know, random people. And, uh, like someone said, 
uh, on video, um, you know, I like to be calling people late at night and not even thinking, wow, these people got to get up in the morning and go to work. And I ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> you know, and all I can do is call my friends who play MMOs and I just, I don't want to call them because it's like, you know, at one point in time that was an escape. That was something that helped me to, to stay away from people who were going to physically involve me in shit that was just going to make me a bad person. And I don't want to... You know, I don't, I don't want to say that, you know, it was the best thing to do to take away that, that, that influential flux, but, you know, I, I did it because it's the only thing that I knew how to do at the time, and, you know, I really enjoy playing games sometimes. Like, but right now, I'm not enjoying playing games. I, I have a big problem, you know just wanting to use it because it's like like a cop out, you know, it's not I'm not saying it's a cop out. Maybe. Cause, you know, I, yes, it is a cop out. Let's just go there. It's it is a cop out even if it isn't. You know, it's, it's cause uh you know I, I don't do work around here and if I didn't play the MMOs with people who I could talk to all day long and just, you know, meh 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 mumble mumble mumble. You know, it's just, the communication is like an addiction. It's like, it, it's worse than any other drug I've ever had in my life, you know, is attention. You know, I don't know how to say this, you know, but, you know, it's like I have the autism, the high-functioning autism, PD, PDP, PDD, you know, S, something like that, uh, pervasive developmental psychosis and uh, strapped with the pervasive development of disorder you know you can look it up so you can understand more about the way I act and uh, you know um, don't hate me because my hair is beautiful I didn't comb it today at all you know I love my hair I cut it off so many times, and I almost didn't make it through this hot, sweaty Michigan summer. Oh, look, see, I just fucked up right there. I mean, I was already going to say it, but, um, uh, yeah. I'm just trying to get by up here with no one to even interact with. I haven't interacted with somebody my age in about uh, three months had somebody that I met on Second Life come and stay at my house. It was awesome. You know, I wasn't the best tenant. I wasn't the best host, you know, but he was a really good tenant. You know, he always helped me out. You know, I did everything that I asked when I asked, which wasn't all the time, but, you know, he was really helpful, you know, and, I don't know, I'm just, I miss having friends a long time ago and just the way that I felt. I don't miss the things that we did, but I, I definitely miss the way that I felt. And, you know, I'm, that's why I've been sad lately. That's why I've been depressed lately because, you know, I want to, to interact. You know, I don't want to just create something for me. I want to, I want to create something with someone. You know, I don't, I've already created a child with a chick and, it's like I want to move on and try and do something better, you know. And, you know, I'd like to do something career-wise, you know. And I don't want my career necessarily to be the medical pot because if it turns out to be that, then I feel like I'm just going to be a target, you know, for, you know, federal mob squads and, you know, I'm just... You know, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to put my daughter in any kind of financial risk, danger, situation, or you know, have her threatened by you know a criminal, you know, syndicate type shit. I, I'm just worried. Just worried, really worried. You know that you know, I'll just be targeted in this in this industry that you know is not regulated as it should be. And, you know, and I'm saying that because I'm not protected as a patient fully. You know, I, I can just do the bare minimum. There's no way for me to, you know, to, to, you know, persistently 
address my monetary situations with the, the medical pot. Because there's no ordinances in place to keep me protected if I did so. And I, that's why I haven't done anything thusly I can stick to my, you know, my, my limits, you know, and it's like I, I, you know, I can't overproduce, you know, and it's hard to keep my own medicine. I, I just barely run out of medicine, just barely, and even before I had to go without it for three weeks, just because I couldn't grow it at the right time, because I would produce too much wet stuff to not have drying schedules to make up for the next three months of, of you know, medicinal use. What am I supposed to do? Just make it? Just make it? Is that quality of life? Is that is that quality of life? I don't think so. And, you know, the, the product itself and the surface is not denying me the quality of life. It's the, it's the, the restrictive judicial restraint that is causing the, the the quality of life issue I mean that there, there are there could be definitive regulations put in place to control people who want to take advantage of the system you know pharmaceutical companies have to go through legitimate three month you know scheduling programs to get into the schedules you know but but to get into those programs and to get into the scheduling to be a scheduled drug, you know, a drug has to be harmful. It has to be able to cause fatal effects if used improperly or, or, or overuse is, you know, isn't contained. You know, and marijuana, I'm sorry, does not kill you. You know, I smoked an ounce, you know, in three days last week. And, you know, it was because... You know, I was super stressed, and my back wouldn't stop hurting because I've been doing more exercises, and, you know, I thought I was going to die because I was too loaded. And, you know, and I, I was laying on the floor, and my stomach hurt because I had gas because I ate too much. But when that, when that fucking gas came out my ass, and I sat back up, I was like, you know, it felt like I just had a spiritual experience. You know, not only did it not kill me, but it made me feel better about life. You know? <laughs> so what's wrong with that? And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I'm going to end with that one. Thank you very much.